You're watching the 3D Bot Maker Diecast Racing League. Welcome back to the 3D Bot Maker Diecast Rally Championship. It is time for the final round in the first event of Season 3. From what we've seen so far, this is going to be a good one. We started this with eight drivers. We're down to the final two. Our first driver, Esteban Reyes, a rookie driver this year, driving in a 2012 Ford Fiesta. He's doing a great job for being a rookie. If I didn't know better, I'd say he's raced in the DRC before. Definitely not. Then we have the man, the king of the jumps, Big Air Dillon. Big Air Dillon has been putting on an amazing performance for the crowds. He definitely knows how to go big, sometimes to his own detriment. Hey, that's Dillon. Go big, go home. He's going big. Here we go with the first race. The first driver to win five races will be the champion. Oh, nice. Five instead of three. If you want to be the champ, you got to earn it. Esteban Reyes with the lead going down the slope. Nice long jump there by Esteban Reyes. Here comes Dylan. Dylan applying the pressure around the corner. Oh, he's aggressive out there. Esteban still with the lead here around the final corner. He's on the side wall. Whoa. Whoa -ho! Esteban goes flying off the track. Some wild racing there in the first one. I love it. Esteban flipped over on the grass. Let's see the replay. Look at this jump by Esteban Reyes. That was a nice jump there. He doesn't go high, but he goes long. Then look at Dylan trying to find a way around that Ford. He gets blocked right there. Then he gets blocked again. Both Esteban Reyes and Dylan riding the side wall. Esteban takes a jump at an angle and goes off the road. So that will not count towards the big air. Not much air there from Dylan either, but we're just getting started. Keep in mind, in the case of a tie, the driver with the longest jump will get the inside lane advantage on the tiebreaker race. We've had two ties in this event so far, and that inside lane advantage can really make a difference. This time Dylan on the inside, he's got the lead here through turn one down the slope. Let's go Dylan, nice jump. Esteban right on his tail. There's some contact. Nice block by Dylan. Esteban Reyes falling behind. Let's see some big air by Dylan. Whoa, Whoa Dylan tumbles off the road. Oh man. It's all Esteban Reyes now. And Esteban Reyes will take his second win in a row. Three more and we are looking at a new champion. Oh man, Dylan is falling apart here. Look at him, that's a sad, sad picture. Look at that grass on his wheels. Here's the replay, he was looking great. Look at this jump right here. He's had trouble on that section of track. He landed it just fine. A nice block here on Esteban Reyes. Makes around that turn. There's got to be something wrong with the car because this is not the Dylan that I know. Are you sure about that? Because Dylan has crashed quite a few times. Well, that's true. Right here, he goes up on two wheels and then rolls right off the road. That will also put Esteban Reyes ahead on the big air jump. Here we go, race three. Esteban Reyes starting off on the inside lane. Dylan on the outside, Esteban up by two races. Come on, Dylan, we need a comeback. Esteban race with a slight lead. Here they go around the first turn. Esteban first down the slope. Hey. A big jump by Dylan, oh, and he passes. Oh, you see that? Dylan with the lead now. That's what I'm talking about right there. Dylan coming down the hill, hot and heavy. Give me that big air. Oh, what what just happened? What to just happened? To the moon, 3D. What did I just see? Big Air Dylan just took you to the moon, baby. Wow. Look at him right there, hooking the gutter. They call that a gutter run. And then after that, he just picks up the speed. I got to see that jump again. That was amazing. Here it is. Look at that height. It was astronomically amazing. I thought we had enough marker lines on the track. Oh, you never have enough when you have Big Air Dylan in the race. Look at that. Wow, that is... Big Air Dylan, baby. <laughs> that, that's really far. That's just Big Air Dylan. Big Air Dylan with his first win on the board. He'll be starting on the inside lane. And here they go down the track for race four. One more and Dylan can tie the score. It's a close race down the first straight. Here they go through the first corner. Dylan with the lead down the slope. Let's go, Dylan. He lands it with Esteban Reyes right behind him. He is moving fast on this track. Slides around the corner, but he's still going strong. I think it's going to be a big one for him. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> what was that? He did it again. How? Another one, How 3D. How can that? Don't even question it. Don't try to comprehend it. It'll just hurt your feeble mind, 3D. But it's just, how could you? 3D. It's so, 3D. I mean. 3D, you just have to accept that there's some things that you will never be able to understand. And Big Air Dylan is one of those anomalies. But air like this should not be possible. How is that possible? It has something to do with Newton's fifth law, but I can't explain it to you right now. It's just, I mean. Okay. If you 3D. look at the. You're falling apart on me here. It's an Evo. Okay, but you know what? We need to take a break. 3D needs a reset. We'll be right back after this. I'm doing the calculations. You shouldn't be able to get that okay, far. Okay, but your math does not apply to Dylan.
support the channel and look good doing it by visiting the 3 Botmaker merch store. Link in the description. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. And we're back. Yes, we are back. Before the break, Big Air Dylan tied the score with Esteban Reyes with an amazing, mind-blowing run down the track. Right now, it is anybody's race. Esteban Reyes starting off on the inside lane. Big Air Dylan definitely building some momentum with those last two runs. Keep in mind, the first of five races wins, so both drivers need three more. Whoa! Oh, Dylan almost got a nerd pass. A nice jump by both drivers. Esteban Reyes picking up the speed here. Here comes Dylan. Dylan on the inside. Oh, oh he wipes out. No. I thought he had it. Esteban Reyes will take his third win. Dylan making him work hard for it. And there's Dylan upside down on the exit of the final turn. This was a wild part right here. Look at this Dylan. Almost get that inside lane pass again on that turn. He did it once before. I thought he was going to do it again. This race was a battle all the way down the mountain. You can see Esteban Reyes starting to slow down. Dylan sees the opening right here, goes for the pass. Esteban goes for the block, and Dylan ends up flipping over. That was a hard-fought race. Credit goes to Esteban Reyes for those defensive moves. That puts Esteban Reyes up by one. He is two wins away from being champion. This time we got Dylan on the inside lane. Dylan starting off with an early lead here. He's ahead by about three to four car lengths. He just needs to keep it together and stay on the track. Whoa! Oh, bigger Dylan doing the opposite of staying on the track. He's picking up speed. He is going flat out okay, here. Okay, three, prepare yourself for this. I'm not ready. Behold, let me go. Whoa! Oh, he did it again. Man, Big Air Dylan knows how to turn it up when it counts. Big Air Dylan knows how to turn it up regardless of it counting, but I do agree he's driving on a whole nother level here. Look at this Big Air after Big Air. Look at this jump here. His car was at roof height of the ski lodge. Not to mention that landing was perfect. He maintains all that speed through the corners and carries it all down to the final jump. This time his back end goes up a little too high, but that was just some massive, massive air by Big Air Dylan. You know, I can't help but feel like Dylan is ruining the DRC. How so? This is amazing. He's just setting the bar so high. Every other racer we put on the track will just be a disappointment for the fans. Well, we'll just have to find some better talent. Big Air Dylan is one of a kind. Here they go down the slope. Esteban race with the lead. There goes Dylan oh! with the pass. They both oh! wipe out. He's back up. What? He's still going. No way. He is still going. Dylan is back on his tires. He's still going through the incredible. Bring it home, Dylan. Bring it home. What? Yes. Somehow. Oh, yeah. Some way, Dylan rolled his car over and still proceeded down the track to win the race. And he didn't just roll past the finish line, he actually made the jump as well. There's so many incredible moments in this race, I don't know which one is the most incredible, but look at that, they both wiped out. Dylan rolled it back over and just continued down the track like nothing even happened. This is like Marvel superhero Doctor Strange level stuff we're witnessing here in the DRC. I would not be surprised if they cast Dylan for the next Avengers movie. I could definitely see that happening. Disney, Marvel, hit me up. Let's make it happen. For the first time today, Dylan is in the lead by one race. That was his fourth win, so he is one win away from being the champion. And he's starting on the inside lane. It is do or die here for Stephen King. I mean, sorry, Esteban Reyes. Slip of the tongue. Common mistake. A very close race into the first corner. Esteban Reyes fighting for this. This would be his first DRC win. Reyes is off the oh, road. Oh, it's over now. It's all over. As long as Dylan doesn't crash, he's got this. Don't jinx him, 3D. Here he comes. Oh, yeah. And oh, we have yeah. a winner. Yes, sir. Big Air Dylan comes from behind <laughs> and takes the championship. <laughs> That's right. Over Esteban Reyes. Big Air Dylan, the Michael Jordan of diecast rally racing, proving that he's not a one-hit wonder by winning his second DRC championship. Yeah, he started off slow, but he really picked things up by the third race. I feel like this is a historical moment here on the channel. Absolutely. Make sure you check out our merch store for the new Big Air Dylan Winter Rally design. Oh, I gotta get one of those. We've got t-shirts and decals. Once again, thank you for joining us for this presentation of the 3D Botmaker Diecast Racing League. Until next time, I'm 3D Botmaker. And I'm 2D. And you've been watching the D. D R C. D -R -C.